Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 4 The Remake. So as you can see, I purchased a yellow herb, which I thought would be useful. I'm not sure how many spinals I'm going to be able to get in this game, because obviously what you do is you complete tasks for the merchant. So that's a really good idea. It's a really unique way of changing the original Resident Evil 4. So what I did off camera is I did go back and kill the three rats that you asked me to in the abandoned warehouse. So we've still got now two spinals left after I purchased the yellow herb and the treasure map. Yeah, and I'm not sure if they carry over. I know obviously New Game Plus, a lot of things carry over, but whether things like the treasure maps carry over, because I know in Resident Evil 4, the original, I don't think the treasure maps carried over. Now I do want to try out the new bolt throw weapon, which I'm currently got equipped. It could be a good chance. Out of the way. Damn, that didn't kill it. Okay, so I get all my bolts back, which is good. Surprised the three bolts didn't kill it, but again, it's not upgraded at all. Okay, now will this be a replica or at least a variant of the uh, original section we get to see after the merchant? It certainly is. Oh damn, that goes pretty high up there. This is going to be scary because the original was pretty tough. I'm assuming once you jump down, that's pretty much... Yeah, there's no hiding. Shit. Right, let's run across the bridge. God, this is going to be tricky with the powerful enemies now. Shotguns there. Can I hide? I'm cowering this a little bit, but oh, didn't mean it. I meant it. <laughs> nice. I'm still trying to get used to the. Uh... Nice. Is that it? No, I can still hear voices. I need some uh, ammo. I wonder if this is going to be pretty much like infinite enemies. Right, let's get this. Got a ruby. I don't know if this is part of the puzzle. It's maybe it's slightly different. Okay, so I'm opening the door. So I'm assuming that means I can go back through now. Whoop. Next. Nice. And we'll get the bolts back. Now, I'm going to stick to the handgun for now. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. 
yellow here, that's going to be very useful. Right, so that's the entrance there. The hell was that? Oh. God damn it. Oh god damn it, they're coming from everywhere. I know, I know you. Take your time, Leon. Right, let's use this. Nice. Damn. Where are these coming from? Is he from up here? No? I've got the hexagonal emblem, so that's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Right, let's heal again really do with a, uh, a red herb. Think where is the next... Shit. Where's the next hexagonal thing going to be? Bloody quick. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Right, let's jump down here. It's going to be a bit of running for a bit. <laughs> Shouldn't really be coming back up here. bullets left. Oh, now I've got some. Where's that going? Right, run. Yeah, right this way. Got these grenades. Oh, shit, the bridge is blown up. I didn't know that could happen. So now I think we need to go back with the hexagon over here, I believe. Drop a save first. one right there. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Well, that was not as sneaky as I wanted it to be. Where did you come from? Yeah, so 
obviously you've got to watch out for these bear traps. He says probably going to walk into one at some stage. Nice resources. Let's keep forgetting I can actually craft ammo. Then we'll have a look at that in a second. Sapphic, nice. Definitely going to craft some more bolts. And I think we'll craft some handgun ammo. And some shotguns. Ah, this is going to be ideal for the crows, isn't it? Yeah, because it's free ammo. Good choice on the bolt gun. Bolt throw rather. Ah. Made a mistake there. Can, can I get the bolt back from that? No. Can from this one though. Oh sh Where did these guys come from? What's that noise? Oh shh. Present for you. Well, that didn't work. Right, try bolt. Just chainsaw stuff. Is that it? Finally. Whew. Get an emerald for that as well. But damn, I used a lot of, a lot of ammo. Wasted the grenade. Yeah, that's uh, that's scary. The influence is not what it once was. Destroy the wine of dolls. Do not forgive those aristocrats. So I'm guessing that's some sort of, almost like collectible. If you destroy them, you might get something. So is this going to be the same where you... It certainly is. And look, that's where our bolt went. So it went through the chrome went up there. I don't know if there's any way we can get that. It's interesting. Now, if you fire a bolt into this, does it work first of all, and do you get the bolt back? Got a fair bit of sway on it. Yes, you do. So again, I have to remember that. God, this is scary. Nice amount of resources there. Can I get in the back way? I'm actually kind of worried that I can go in this way. Yep, same as the original. He's in the toilet. Sorry, didn't mean to walk in and yet. Nice. Now this is very similar to someone has shown up their neighbors. Yeah. So that's now unlocked. Got a small key, another small key. I've got two now. Hmm. What does that mean? Is there going to be something in the photos? Yeah, are there clues somewhere on here that I can. Is there going to be an egg in the oven? There is. Can I get it? What's going on? Same as the original. I like how they've kept references to the original. But, again, I wouldn't be surprised if it, uh, if sometimes they change it up to surprise you. In great veneration of their master, the people offered up their most prized possessions. The old farmer, his finest crop. The slight swineherd, his stoutest pig. The beggarly grandmam, grandam, her own beloved babe. 
The master saw these gifts and was pleased. So, bat lock, do we need to do crop, swineherd, pig, babe? I don't know. I've already forgotten what I just said. Nice. Crystal marble. I'm assuming that's just going to be... A s what? Where did you bloody come from? Jeez. Where did he creep out from? Day October 10th. The weather has been a strange of late. The wheat withers and the cow grows thin. December 8th. There are signs of famine, it is true. We lack the means to work the fields, but Lord Sadler's orders are absolute. January 30th. 30 people have starved to death. Five cows will be slaughtered. March 11th. The patriarchs gather to cast lots. Six more chosen for Lord Sadler. April. Eight more today. Four more today. 11 more today. Two outsiders got lost and wandered into the village. We took them to the altar for the ritual. No need to cast lots today. Yeah, Lord Tyler does look very creepy in this game. Oh damn. The blood that has accepted the gift. Ada. Pretty much the Undertaker, isn't he? He's even got the hat. Gift. My blood. And as you can see, chapter two results just under an hour, 49 enemies killed, and just about 90% accuracy, eight times damage. So better than the first chapter, but could do better. So the Lewis Sarah report. Sarah's name first appears publicly in a university student registry. No prior records have been discovered, including his birth certificate. So he graduated from university. He was employed by Umbrella. He was actually involved in the development of several over-the-counter drugs. He then resigned from Umbrella and disappeared. And one last note from Hunter Gunn is, do you really think that they would let him just sell over-the-counter drugs? rather than working on something possibly top secret. The map's also updated. And there's a collapsible ladder apparently here. Nice friendly family photograph there with the, uh, the face is scratched out. So I'm having a look for the collapsible ladder that appeared on the map. And... Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Ah, okay. Need Ashley for that. Interesting. Doggy. You too. Huh? Oh, it's the dog. Oh, they've changed the location a bit. Well, it's a wolf, really, isn't it? Take care of yourself, buddy. I'm glad they've kept that, and they've changed it up exactly where it is as well. Now, what's going to be next? I don't know, but it's very dark. Oop, just spotted someone. Oh. Back in the village? Now, can I get on top of that roof? I can't remember. So, let's leave that core for now. Oh, I can possibly get on there. Now, what we have got is small keys, which we didn't have before. Vintage compass. Okay, so that should be a sellable item. And there's one hidden there that we can't get to. Oh, what the hell? What is going on? Why is there a dog? Well, that I was not expecting. Okay. So, that's collapsed now. So, where do we go? Do we have to traverse up the ladders here, maybe? What was that? This seriously has got me on edge. You sneaky. I mean, that was on call for. Hello. Yoink. Okay, so there's a well here. Let's go down to the really dark place. Just where I want to go. I don't like this. Why do I play these games, eh? Okay. What's going to be up here? Okay, so we're just on the other side of the village, so I'll actually go back down. But we've got some items, which is good. Yeah, so we're back here, so let's enter with the key.
They've kept the snakes in as well. They're sneaky snakes. Oh, so you don't get an egg from it now. Viper. I think we better reload our shotgun. Damn, that's a big ass skull. Sleep well and flourish, dear child. As your body grows, your mother shall sew new small clothes. At seven quintal of wheat and half a bottle a day, you have outgrown your pen. Flourish, dear child, for the sake of your brothers and sisters who cannot. Okay. Um, oh, that's gonna be the El Gigante, isn't it? And that's who they're talking about as well. So just got a letter from the merchants giving me tips about the bolt thrower. Being able to retrieve and reuse the bolts. You can get a bolt recipe to turn knives, extra knives into bolts. Don't need to worry about ammo. You can also fix the bolt to attachable mines to quickly turn the weapon into a powerful mine thrower. Shoot an enemy to see them explode instantly or at a surface to set approximately wine. You'll lose the bolt, but it'll be worth it. Now I've already got the actual bolt weapon, which I do love, by the way. But be interesting to try out the, the mine thrower aspect. So the quest here is to sell three vipers, so that's what that uh, that is for. So I've already got one, so I'll sell one now to at least progress that. And we'll keep an eye out for more vipers in the future. So I sold the two items that I can sell without having to insert any sort of jewellery. I'm going to sell the viper. So that'll get me one out of three towards the objective. I'm definitely going to increase the combat knife durability because I think long term Dazzled, that's going to be very useful and we'll repair it Good luck to you, stranger. and the TMP has actually become available to buy but we need to create some space for that there's also a flash grenade recipe so that we'll buy that because that is going to be very useful Knowledge flash grenades are very good when you get into the game a little bit later on when um, Ganados, they can spout that. I don't know what it's called, but where the extra head sort of spout spouts out. I think, yeah, I'm going to buy the TMP. Oh, you cut through the crowd with that right there. I kind of do like the auto sort where it makes it easier. A bit less time consuming, but I also like manually doing it myself. And then I can imagine obviously then clicking the auto sort button, it'll sort of messed that up so I'm not sure how I feel about that I think it's definitely an improvement you don't have to spend so long in the menus just takes some getting used to I suppose I think I'm gonna use the green red and yellow herb now to increase my max health oh it's the church Yep, I've spotted one already. Is there going to be anyone in here? Yes, there is. Well, took him out easily enough. Can we be a little bit sneaky? Don't spot me. Right, I know I could have knifed him, but that would have damaged my knife. 
There is a crow here. Have I lost that bolt? Where's the bolt gone? Right, so that's thing again to bear in mind. I could shoot this crow, but I'll probably lose the bolt with the angle that it's at. Damn it. Condor one to roost. The church is sealed up. And baby eagle? Negative. Nothing yet. But they sure do have this place locked up tight. I see. I can think of one reason they'd want to do so. Oh, she's here. That's for sure. I'll find a way in. Condor one out. Got my TMP out just in case. Okay, some some broken text there. Lake. Let's hope for no more surprises. I think there may just be some surprises, Leon. And I assume that's Ashley. Another yellow diamond. Good stuff. But what I am going to do... Is check around here first. Doesn't appear to be anyone around. Destroy the tombstone elms to get two spinals. And there's Grave Robber complete. <clears throat> yep, yeah, familiar looking place. Just check this to make sure. Take that off now. Lake. Yes. Now I wonder if the giant monster is there. I mean, it must be, because it's been mentioned in text. Hello. Come on. Molotovs? Didn't expect that. I thought it was just going to be a normal grenade. Yoink. Oh, there's more. You. Nice. So they've expanded this area a little bit. Like I say, I love these little touches. Parry. Good timed parry. So what I have done is in the settings I have changed it so you can use R2 to parry on top of using L1 as well and I've, I found that's worked really well. I, I did that a while back but um, when I first started the game, I didn't have that. Oh dear. You want to fire now? Oh crap. Oh crap. Ooh, I think 
think somehow that didn't damage me. Dead. Thought she was. Give me a break already. Please do. Right, where's that snake gone? Because that's part of the air. Uh... Hello, Mr. Snake. Right, where was he? the general direction he's in at least anyway. Okay. So it's as simple as dropping down here. Hello. That drop down too. Finding someone big enough to use this thing. Yeah, Leon, I think you're gonna find that out soon. Ah, more blue medallions, so destroy five to get four spinels. So yeah, using that trigger, using the flash grenade for all those crows still works. Can still hear the growling. Ah, here we go. Back at the merchant. Oh, I see you took care of a request. Well done. Yeah, so... I'm trying out the, the weapons because no doubt they've changed some of the weapons in terms of probably how good they are, how powerful. Yeah, clearly they have changed the weapons a fair bit. So if you look here, you know, the guns do act a little bit differently. The bolt throwers, I love the bolt thrower. That, that wasn't in the original, but the mine attachment thing, there was a mine thrower. There was a crossbow if you played as Ada, I think it was, in the... Um, sort of the DLC, the, the bonus mission. But in terms of what weapons we may keep and what we might sell, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, hexagon piece. I think yeah, I'm going to purchase the yellow diamond now because we have got four spinels. So that leaves us with one. So we've got the laser sight and the punisher that we could get at some stage. And again, I don't know if each sort of main area Obviously, we're still in the first main area. What's that? How have 
whether there'll be more sort of uh, things that you can unlock. And it looks like they've changed it up, but I think this is going to take us to the shooting range. Okay, so this is where you get the tokens from. You can use three silver or gold tokens at the token machine to win a random charm. The more gold tokens you use, the greater your chances of getting a rare charm. Destroy the pirates and shoot for the high scores. Weapons and ammo are unlimited and it's all free. Earn tokens based on your score for a chance to win magnificent prizes. Exchange your tokens for charms at a token machine. They're full of treasures that can be found nowhere else. You can destroy several targets at once by shooting nearby dynamite to set off an explosion. Be careful shooting a sailor. will deduct points from your score. Some targets cannot be destroyed with one shot. Shoot as many shots as it takes until they break. If certain conditions are met, bonus targets will be added. However, these conditions will change from game to game. So very similar to the original, but it's uh, sailors and pirates instead of, I believe it was like Ganados and Ashley. So I got an A, I don't think that was very good, but I uh, got an A anyway, got some tokens. So, not a bad result again on that one. And we now have got four tokens, so we can exchange for three. We're going to get. Charms can be swapped out via the customized case menu at any type right here, which we saw earlier. Chicken, that's rare. That's good. 100% health recovery for all egg types. That's really good. Okay, so you can fit three on. So put this one on the left. I wonder if different attache cases can hold more, maybe? Not sure. Maybe the size of the attache case can depend how many you can hold, or maybe it's just a fixed three. But getting 100% health grief for all egg types, that's pretty good, because eggs only take up one slot as well. So you pretty much got a first aid spray in only one individual slot. That's uh, really useful. Great the TMP as well. And I think I'm going to increase the power of the bolt thrower. And I think the pistol will increase the rate of fire. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. And our pesetas are pretty much down to zero now. And obviously the target range, we will try that further. 
there was one that I didn't try in that one. I just tried the handgun and the rifle. I'm assuming the other for now is either the shotgun or the TMP. But we'll try that in the future. Try and get high scores and try and unlock more coins. And that's another episode of Resident Evil 4 the remake done for today. If you can hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. Another episode will be out next Sunday, same time, same place. Join us for that one. Cheers.